Political Suicide is the newest work by playwright Ernest Thompson, who received much acclaim for his play on Golden Pond. River Company and Damariscotta will be presenting the main premiere of Political Suicide later this month, and Ernest Thompson came to Damariscotta recently to talk about his career and his new play. Tom was there and has this report. Dressed in jeans and a t-shirt with the name of his latest play on it, Ernest Thompson, Academy Award winning author of On Golden Pond, stood before an audience at Skadamfa Library in Damariscotta and talked about the inspiration for political suicide. I said, I watched the debates as I'm sure some of you did and, um, well, let me put it to you this way. I was inspired. <laughs> Not by the candidates, but I was inspired to write a play. There was an expression back in the uh, 60s that the best and the brightest should be drawn to politics, and I think we've drifted a little far from the best and the brightest. Political Suicide is actually four short comedies, all looking at some aspect of the American political process. Margot O'Leary, a River Company board member and actress in one of the plays, commented on the timeliness of River Company's production. I guess we just got so, just not disgusted, but crazy about the whole process and so political suicide, I thought was really great. And it's, it's so timely that we're going to be doing it right before the election, too, which is wonderful. The Times uh, created a play, really. You know, it's, it's, I, I really wanted to talk about where we are in our culture and our society and the um, ineffectiveness of the electoral process because so few people vote, which is ridiculous. Uh, and I wanted to try to light fires for people. Andrew Handel, president of River Company and director of one of the plays, talked about what it means for the theater company to do this play. It's, it's a great honor, really, for River Company to be the first company to be producing this play other than his own company. And uh, we're going to have an opportunity to create roles and um, really do this work of art and in our own way, with our own interpretations. Charlie Waterman, founder of River Company, values the opportunity to work with the author. It's good to get his, uh, you know, his insight on each one of those uh, four plays because it, it certainly helps you know, us as we set out to do it. You can imagine you know, what might be going through his head when he comes back to see how we do his play. River Company board member Ann Foskett will be directing two of the plays and was responsible for contacting Ernest Thompson about producing the play. One of the reasons he's here and one of the reasons that I got to meet him and his lovely partner Karen um, is that um, a friend of mine went to see his new play in New Hampshire and immediately emailed me and said, River Company has to do this play. It's your kind of play. When Ann Foskett introduced me, um, she talked about um, how lucky you were um, to have me here, <laughs> and you are, but I don't know how, how, how lucky I am that you are giving my play so hope. I love it that the, this River Theatre Company has embraced doing political suicide. It's very meaningful to me, and I appreciate also that you, the audience, support a theater like River Theatre. You know, I liked your uh, the plays you've done. I like that you're so adventurous here, and I thought that uh, if someone's going to take on a play like Political Suicide, it's got to be a theater company with some imagination and some courage. Catherine Wilkinson, a local actress, commented on what Ernest had to say. And it's cool to hear him say that he wrote, directed, acted, and produced in something because those are all things that are so time consuming and the fact that he can put all of them together and create a masterpiece is, is really inspiring. It's very illuminating to find out about him as a writer and um, what he cares about, how important writing is, what he thinks um, plays and theater can do to teach and uh, inspire people about what's going on in their own lives and in their world. Matt Peters, an actor in one of the plays, gave his reaction after reading the play. It sounds hilarious, and just, you know, the timing of it is perfect that we're doing this, you know, right before everyone's going to go vote, and uh, that saying rock the vote is involved with it, I mean, it's great. I mean, that it's uh, definitely something a lot bigger than all of us, and uh, it sounds, it's going to be hilarious. I want to come up and see it because it'll be the first time I've seen those plays done by anyone other than myself. I consider the emotional success of this play to be as profound as anything I've ever been involved with. People laugh and then by the end you see uh, people wiping their eyes because it's 
there's hope at the end of these plays. There's, there's still the possibility that we could make a change. River Company's production of Political Suicide will be performed at Skadamfa Library in Damerskada on September 28th, 29th, and 30th, and October 5th, 6th, and 7th. Reservations can be made by calling 563-8116. This is Tom Handel in Demerscotta for Community Update.